Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video today. As you can see, I'm working on six by 12 pocket page layouts here. And these are photos from the whale watching tour that we did when I was in Boston with my friends. And you don't see any whales here yet, but they're coming. And I'm kind of jumping way ahead to do this because I got something in the mail that I really wanna use. But before I show that, I have to say, I'm actually recording this in March during the big coronavirus spread and everything that's happening. So by the time this video comes out, the world could be a very different place from when I'm recording this. And I record things when I have the time because I have large chunks where I'm not able to do it. So when I am able to do it, I try to do as many as I can. So I'm way ahead of the game here. Uh, but strange times, strange times. So we'll see what it's like when this actually releases, which will probably be many months from now. So with that said, these are the things that I ordered that came in that I want to use. So these are from Photoplay, and it's called Monterey Bay is the sticker sheet here. And then here's another one. And this particular sheet is called Set Sail. Does this one have its own name on there too? It just says item number. So not sure. But they're from the same line, obviously. And when I saw them, I knew they would work perfectly for this. Plus, I also took a trip to Ireland and Wales, and I took a ferry both ways. And I figured the nautical theme would work for that, too. So I'm starting with the whale watching. I'll get to the other ones later. So for this left side, I have two 4x6 photos. I am willing to crop those to fit on here better because I really don't want them to be like this and they take up the entire sheet. So I'll have to get a little inventive and cut some of those off, but I want to use them because they were the view we had as we were leaving the harbor. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. And then I have our ticket. So I want to make sure that gets on there as well somehow. And I have an empty pocket here. And I did notice on here that they have both this one as a four by six and this. I feel like maybe I want to save that till we actually saw whales. But maybe I could use this. I mean, I don't know. That's a lie. I was just about to say, I don't know how else I would use that. That's a lie. I can use that for Philly because we went to the Seaport Museum and they had ship models like this. So, oops, never mind. So maybe I won't end up using anything here because if I want to save that for actual whales, then that doesn't work. We'll see what happens. But I know I want to use some of these. I love the stickers, the phrases. There are multiple things on here that will work. And so I want to use them. And then just check out the little little cabanas here. Aren't they cute? I don't know what exactly I'll use them for because I don't have any pictures that feature those. But I like them, so I bought it. So this paper that is peeking through here is not what I want to use. That just happens to be the backside of the previous page. So I'm not using that. It doesn't go. But then I have to figure out what I do want to use there. And I also had this paper stashed away for Boston photos. And I thought about it, but I think it's way too busy. It doesn't really go here. The color's not bad for this photo, but it's too busy. So I don't think I can use that. I have the rest of this as well. So I'm just going to go through here and see if there's anything in here that I can make work with the photos that I have. I do also have these stickers as well, and I'm not sure if there's anything on here that might work, but you never know. So I have cut down the paper, and then I have my photos here, which I have trimmed as well, and they're still a little bit larger than I anticipated, but I don't want to cut off any more, so I think I'm going to have to take the ticket and move it to this pocket. I originally thought maybe I could make it work over here, but I think it's a little too big, so I'll have to find something to go in that pocket. Maybe I can find a card that has a phrase that sticks out or just a nice background that complements this. I'm not sure, but I will do that and then I will start figuring out how to use these awesome stickers. I picked out two cards out of my stash of just general stuff. I have both of these and I liked them because of the blue. I normally don't like anything that just has a big ampers hand on it. It's one of the things I hate the most. It's a trend in scrapbooking I don't like, but I have this card so I could make it work if I wanted to use it. I do like that it's got this white at the bottom so I could journal there or embellish somehow or stamp. So I like that option, 
but I really like the colors, the varying colors here and the patterns too, but I'm worried that it's too much because I've already got blue with a pattern and there's lots of blue happening, whereas this breaks it up with some white. So I have to make that decision and go from there. I've decided to go with this one. So I have that and then I will still use the ticket, but I think I'm actually going to tear off the part that has the barcode. I really don't, don't need that. And then I can kind of put it off to the side like that and then work in some of the fun stickers and other embellishments around it. I've attached the ticket and I even put in a mini staple right there. So I have that. And then from that sticker sheet, I've decided to use this thin border just a little bit right there. It will make it a little busy, but I'm hoping that I can also work it in somewhere over here so it'll at least make it match. But I feel like I need some kind of other color and I've got a reflection here that's red. There's a little bit here, a little bit here again. So I'm hoping that it'll work out okay. So I attached the sticker here and here. It's on a true 12 by 12. It didn't go edge to edge here, so it didn't go all the way across, but that's okay. Makes it actually a little more visual interesting, so that's all right. But then when I put that down, I think I need to matte these photos in white. They blend in too much with the background and there's white in here. And so I think it would help to have that between the photo and the background. I have matted the photos and those are adhered. They're not adhered to the background, but the matte is adhered. And I think I want to place them like this, but I don't want to glue those down until I know the stickers and embellishments I'm using in case I need to move those around the page. So the next step is to look at what I can do here. I really like or would like some pops of red. So I like the little sea star here. I like the little buoy so or life preserver. So we'll see. I really like this guy, but it doesn't really go. There's, there's nothing that works there. I could probably save it for the aquarium photos and it would be better suited there, but I like it. And I wonder if I could get away with those banners somehow. I'm not a huge fan of banners, but I am a fan of using stuff that's in my stash and not letting it sit around. So maybe I could work those in somehow. Not sure yet. So a couple of things. I decided to switch these photos top and bottom because this was kind of when we were making our way onto the boat. This is when we were leaving another ferry was coming or a ship was coming in. So I have that. I used the sea star and I used the life preserver. Over here, I think I want to use boardwalk because I have that down there, down by the sea and sail away. Set sail I could use probably on the next set or maybe I could even work it in here but I know I want to get as many of those in there as I can. So I added in quite a few of the stickers here. I decided to actually use these plus one of the yellow ones just to bring in some more color and then I have that one there and then again because he had a little bit of yellow I decided to use this cute little bird. Kind of looks like a pigeon more than a seagull but that's okay I'll take it so I have that so now I'm thinking I just need a little pop of yellow down here somewhere and I don't know if there's anything else on here I can really use I don't want to use that guy I don't think it doesn't really go this has too many colors happening and then these don't really match with what I have Again, too many colors in the banner. So I will look in my stash and see if there's just something else kind of generic that I can find that will match that. So I pulled out a bunch of just generic kind of everyday items, embellishments, and I found these stickers in there. These are from Allie Edwards. And this geotag right here is just the right color. So I'm gonna put that right under the sail away. I've placed that and I love it. That's awesome. So I think the only thing left that I want to do is I do want to stamp something and I think maybe I'll put it right down here, kind of next to the bird, but a little bit more to the right. I think I've actually changed my mind. <laughs> I was going to stamp and then I was looking through this little sticker book I got. This is from a newer line called Going Places from Simple Stories and I noticed that they had this in there which again is that same yellow and I'm wondering if I can tuck it slightly behind the ticket up here and then the little tab that says go see do will show right there. It worked! I was able to pull up the ticket just enough to put that behind there and I love the way that looks because it brings in more of the yellow and I think it really brings more of a pop to the layout and I don't know that I need to do anything else with this one. I really like it 
the way that it is. So I think it's done. Another one finished from Boston. Thanks for watching, everyone.